Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Lakewood Ranch, which is in the Sarasota area on the west coast of Florida. We're gonna be checking out this home behind me. This home was built by Toll Brothers, it's the Avery model. It's three bedrooms, three and a half baths, it's 2,443 square feet of living, and it is priced at 890,995. Now that is the base price, does not include lot premiums or upgrades. This home behind me has a ton of upgrades in it. I would estimate at least 300,000 dollars in upgrades, maybe even more. So this one's gonna be well over a million dollars if you want to actually duplicate this one on your own lot. So let's go ahead and take a look at the home and show you uh, what we have going on here. So as we come in, right now I'm walking on a, on a pathway, but this pathway will actually be a driveway once they sell this model home. They do not sell the model homes with these bushes in front. That's a common question we get when we put this on TikTok is like, how can we get in the garage with the bushes on the front? Well, it's a three car garage. They'll put the driveway in once they actually sell the model home and you'll be able to get in there. And we'll show you that it's actually unlocked. So we'll show you that when we go in. So as we come up to the front of the house, what's really nice, they have some really nice tropical landscaping here with these palm trees. And of course, I really like the, the design over the entryway with these little squares going throughout um, over the patio. And of course we have a patio that is covered where you can sit out here and enjoy a morning coffee, enjoy the beautiful Florida weather um, just before you go to work or you, if you're retired, go play a round of golf or whatever you might enjoy doing. And then of course we do have a door in front of us. This door does have that privacy glass, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this beautiful Toll Brothers home. So as we come in, the first thing we notice is, of course, we have some really nice ceramic tile. They have sort of like the wood plank sort of shape, but on a crisscross design pattern, which goes all the way through. Um, on either side is a pretty wide hallway. They do have this wood paneling going all the way up. It's painted white. And then above us, we do have uh, tray ceilings uh, with wood paneling in the tray ceilings. Of course, this beautiful chandelier above us as well. Now behind Haley, the camera, we do have the uh, family room, the kitchen, and also the dining room. And of course, we can see the pool that they put in in this particular model home as well. But before we go and show you all that, we're gonna go ahead and go left and go down this hallway and show you what we have down here. So the first thing we do is to my left, we do have the powder room or half bathroom. So this one also has paneling sort of halfway up and then some really nice wallpaper. They even have crown molding in this bathroom. We do have our toilet and the pedestal sink. And of course we do have the mirror with a light fixture above the mirror. So as I continue down the hallway, we'll go left and we go down this hallway. This hallway goes into the garage. So we do have a little staging area here where you can keep your shoes and stuff or sit down and you do have a window looking out to that front patio, which is really cool. But we do have that three car garage. As I open this up, you can see um, we do have plenty of space here for three cars. They even have nice epoxy flooring as well. So let's go ahead and take you to the utility room, which is to my left. And this one's a pretty upgraded utility room. As I come in here, when you have tile actually on the walls and then these nice cabinets and the tile above the cabinets, obviously that's all upgrades. We have a nice washer and dryer in here as well. And then on the side, plenty of storage. And they even have, yep, they have soft clothes, actual drawers here in the laundry room. Pretty nice laundry room. I like this laundry room, especially for 2,443 square feet. That's a pretty nice size laundry room. Uh, behind this is an actual linen closet. So just a little tiny linen closet, I'll open it up, see if we can get the camera to take a look at that. And then we go through, and this will be the actual bedroom number two. Now, one thing that you'll notice in some of these model homes that we also get comments out is that there's no doors. Like there's no door here to the bathroom and then right behind or where Haley's backing up, you can see there's no door to the bedroom. That's just because it's a model home. Once they sell these, they'll put doors in all these. So don't worry about that. They're just making it easy for people to walk through. This one's got some really nice wallpaper. Um, it looks like maybe somewhere in uh, England because they got Victoria, Chelsea, Clifton Heath, that sounds like all English town names, doesn't it? So, and then as we come over here, this one's an ensuite bathroom. So you have your own bathroom. And of course, this one does have a tub shower combo, which is really nice tile work. I do like the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. And then of course the toilet, we do have like a grayish color cabinet with the darker gray countertops, mirror and light with nice color walls as well. So let's go ahead and go back. And now as we go this way and turn the camera around, you'll see where the closet is. Again, missing the doors, but you get an idea of where the closet it makes it easier for us to film, right? Without the, we'll oh, have to open up the doors with the closet there. So come ahead and follow me. We'll go back this direction, go back to where we started off, which is right here. And then if we go to the other side of the house, we'll go to bedroom number three. First thing is we do have a closet. This one's got a clear glass window on it so you can see in. Of course, you probably want to make that solid 
uh, when you do, uh, if, you, if you bought the model home, that's probably what you wanna do. This is a nice size room though. So this is bedroom number three, and as you can see, it's plenty of space, nice big end tables on your side, and they have this really nice accent wall with some woodworking and also like little tiny shelves that sort of make it out. And even the, uh, the light fixture coming down with the rope, I think is a pretty cool touch. Crown molding all the way around. Um, this does also have the in-speaker system that you can get as an upgrade for the house as well. And this one also has its own ensuite. Um, and on here, we do just have the full shower uh, that has tile going all the way up to the ceiling, the toilet, and then behind me is a sink um, cabinet area. And we do have the floating sink that goes over. It looks like a fishbowl uh, with the actual faucet and the mirror and light fixture. So that is bedrooms two and three. Let's go check out the main part of the house which is the main living area. So as I come out here, this opens it up to this huge great room and also kitchen and dining room. So let's talk about the great room first. As we come in here, one of the first things I notice is that the ceilings are very tall here. So extremely tall ceilings. We have this really cool woodworking design in the tray ceiling going all the way through. It sort of matches the entrance way. And then what's really neat is this accent wall over on this side. If you look, it's like a three dimensional shape and it's stone work. You can touch it. It's cold to the touch. So it is actual stone and they have some of it coming, protruding out of the wall and some of it in the wall. It gives a really cool uh, look to this specific room. And it is a large room as I nearly fall over whatever this little accent thing is here or this uh, furniture. So anyway, um, let's go ahead before I hurt myself, let's go ahead and go over to the kitchen, which is a really, really neat kitchen. So as I come in, the first thing that I notice is this, this actual countertop. I don't know what surface this is. It feels like a stone surface. It's cold to the touch, um, but it's got some really interesting texture to it as you touch it. Um, it's definitely something different and underneath it, it has an interesting feel to it too. So if anyone knows what this is, I know we have at least one person who actually does stone work for a living who's contacted me, who may be watching this video. So if you know, put in the comments, if you think you know what this is by looking at the underneath part, that might give a good clue. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the actual uh, kitchen area. So the kitchen has all these really nice upgraded cabinets. So these cabinets are definitely upgraded. This one has the shelves where you can put some drawer, uh, dry storage in there, push it in, soft clothes. So plenty of storage, but we have a huge pantry as well. We have our refrigerator and then the pantry will be the next stop. Come through here, It'll be a door, open up the door, go into the pantry. And then as you can see, all really nice custom shelving all the way around um, and, you know, even slide outs and, you know, plenty of stuff for storage. You got tons of storage, especially for a house like this with 2,443 square feet, tons of storage, tons of space for laundry as well. And then of course we have our double oven storage over here. We have our glass shelves all the way across the top. And then this really nice backsplash. And on this side, we do have solid counters as well. This one's white with some design going through it. That's your typical countertops that you see. This one does have a five burner gas stove top and then a Gen Ear vent that goes vents out. And of course the stove top is Gen Ear as well. On the other side, if I look at the other side, we have this really nice sink that's below the counter sink, porcelain sink, plenty of space for all your stuff. We have our three pendant lights going from the ceiling. And then as we continue to go through, we have our dishwasher and microwave. So really, really nice kitchen. Right behind the kitchen is the dining room. So as we come over here, it's currently set up for eight people, plenty of space. We have this beautiful uh, sliding glass door on this side that you can open up so you can have the outside in. And of course, we'll show you all that when we go out in just a second. Um, also, you do have the window here looking out to the pool and there's a canal behind the actual uh, house. That's really cool as well. Above me, we see very similar design to the great room, family room, where we have the tray ceiling with the woodworking throughout. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we have a lot of viewers, love that if you guys would hit that subscribe button, definitely help our subscriber count. Um, we both appreciate it, me and Haley. Uh, so as you come here, here is the primary bedroom suite. Uh, again, same sort of theme that we see. We have that tray ceiling with the woodworking in the ceiling as well. Uh, we have that wood paneling going all the way up on this, that side of the wall, very similar to the entrance of the home. And of course the tile work is continuing through this bedroom as well. We have the crown molding going all the way around. And then as we go back this direction, the actual flooring changes a little bit, but it's kind of, it's like su subtle. You don't really see it because it goes from here, sort of similar color, but now we have a little bit wider tile, a little bit darker color as we come through here. Now, 
The first thing I have is over to my left, which is the closet with plenty of custom shelves, as you can see. So plenty of space to put all your stuff. I actually just built one very similar to this in my own house. It took me like two days to build in two different closets. So it was very enjoyable. <laughs> so as we come this direction, we have our water closet to my right. And then let's talk about the bathroom. We'll start over on this side. We do have a dual sink, but one sink's over here with a cabinet and of course the mirror. The mirror is sort of built in and we have some really nice tile work. It's sort of like thinner tile on the bottom, like decorative tile, and then the thicker tile that sort of matches the floor uh, above us with this beautiful light fixture. In the center is a storage unit where you have drawers so you can have makeup, towels, whatever you might need in here. It looks like they may have some sort of fancy shampoo that looks like a wine bottle right there. Um, and then of course on this side, we also have that same sort of thing. We have the sink and of course that decorative tile that built-in mirror with the frame around it, light fixture. And then we go over to the shower. The shower's got two of those wine things in there. They're, they're like soap. It's like, I guess fancy soap comes in wine bottles. So they probably could just, uh, like charge an extra like 10 bucks for that just because of the wine bottles. But anyway, we have the beautiful tile work on the floor. And then of course the tile work with that accent that sort of matches also over by the sink area. And we have two lines of that uh, accent tile and the tile work is all the way up to the ceiling. We also have a speaker here as well. So you can have that speaker through the whole house. It's a pretty cool uh, feature we have at our house and we love putting that on when we have parties and stuff. So anyway, let's go this direction and what we'll do is we'll go out to the outside area and show you the outdoor living. It is Florida. This is a nice home for like, especially if you're retiring. I mean, you can use it any time, but I would think this would be a great home for retiring in. Um, and as you come out here, you see the nice pool area. We have, the first thing we have is our jacuzzi. So you can sit out here with the jacuzzi. The jacuzzi has a waterfall going over into the main pool area. We have a little sitting bench, little area here. And then we have this cool area. Uh, we had this in our pool that we had, that Haley wants a new pool, but we had a pool at our old house and we had a little sitting area where you could sit around it and actually, you know, have some drinks here. That was pretty neat. And then we even have a little tanning shelf with stairs going down the tanning shelf. So a pretty cool pool area over to my left is going to be the covered patio area. So you can see we come out of the sun. We have this eight piece dining set. So it matches the dining set that's right there. Um, and then of course the outdoor kitchen. The outdoor kitchen has really nice solid countertops. And of course the built-in cabinets with the barbecue, the vent, they'll vent everything out. Um, and then it looks like this here is a, yep, a little uh, burner grill and then of course the refrigerator as well and that's not it we have a little bit more cool little features here that these are all model homes they actually have walkways to each of the other ones so they have a walkway here going to the actual where the sales office is and then they have a walkway over there as well that goes over to the other area but as we come out here we go over and we see that we do have a step up to a patio and then this will be a nice little area to sit and enjoy we have this little bench area we have a canal that goes all the way through the community on either direction. And then you can just be sitting out here enjoying the beautiful Florida weather and uh, you know, enjoying the lifestyle of living in Florida. So I wanna thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all next time. Take care, bye-bye.